What's up everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. I'm back at it again with another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at a UI menu. So, this is an example of something you could do with it. This is a standard kind of menu you'd see in a world. And of course you could hide the menu itself by another button. So with this menu, you can you know, click it, do different things in the world, change the lighting, turn on particle effects. that kind of thing so pretty much this is just incredibly useful and can be used for really whatever you want so let's take a look at how to make some of these different buttons on a UI menu so if we take a look at my patreon you can see we do have different tiers and you'll get to access to different things pretty standard here and there are some assets already available for the different tiers. Uh, there will be a lot more coming almost daily for a very long while as I have to go back through previous content and recreate everything and make it you know, perfect for importable and create descriptions for everything and how it works and all that jazz. But there will be a lot of content that is plug and play available if that is what you're looking for. Um, just give you an example of how it works. So this is uh, some of our options we have right now. So let's just say we want different mirrors or sliding glass door. Um, they'll just work. They'll have the textures assigned if they come with textures, uh, that kind of thing. But they'll work. Just drag and drop the prefabs and follow the instructions and you can use it as is or hopefully you can reverse engineer it along with the instructions and make something totally unique for your own world and use it however you'd like. Um, so yeah, that is now available. And if you have any questions on what that might entail or what it's gonna have in the future, just drop a comment in the video and I'll try to get back to you on that as well. All right, so here we have our practice world here. And we have a plane or a cube rather set up to look like a wall. That is just a plain cube. So we're going to copy that. Let's bring it over here. First thing we're going to do is add a canvas. Well, uh, not add a canvas, I'm sorry. Component. Create a canvas. On that canvas, you're going to go to render mode, screen space, world space. And we're going to add a VRC UI shape. That's a VRC UI shape. We are going to go to our canvas's position, set it to zero. And we're going to find it and scale it down.
gonna redo this real quick. Add a new canvas. Change it back to world space. A difficult position, but it's going to work the same as we want it to regardless. So, hopefully, yours was uh, not as big of a pain, but in the end, we got it where we wanted it. Okay, now that we have this, we can add go to right click, create. A UI button. This uh, will create a script for you and comes with the bonus of having an on click function, which can uh, easily toggle an object, which is one very common use of a button. So, what we'll do is add a new uh, call here to the list. We're going to take a mirror here going to select a function and we're going to do set bool active we're going to go to the text of this button call it low quality mirror on let's go ahead and make this button a little bigger Hit the play button. We can see it turns our mirror on. Perfect. And then to make another one, it's control D. Move it up. Change that one to off. Go to the button and uncheck the toggle. Now, if we go into our play mode, Perfect. All right, so that will work for local. But you say, Akira, how do we do a global call from here? Well, let me show you. So, if the object you're targeting has an udon, udon behavior, we go down to the udon behavior, we go all the way to the bottom to send custom event. In this case, it's going to be G toggle. Because if we look at our mirror and we look at the script it has, 
g toggle if it receives that custom event with that string sends a the toggle event to everyone that turns the object on well actually in that case it's a toggle so we'll rename that button because that's what the script does to global mirror toggle But that is how you call a global event, is you go to um, Udon Behavior, send custom event, and you go to the Udon Behavior, or sorry, go to the script, on click, Udon Behavior, at the bottom, send custom event, and then you send the, uh, put input the string you want to send. Again, we can test this, not the global version, but just to make sure if it works for us, through going in the play button. And it looks like that works as we expected to. It is triggering that Udon behavior. So if you guys are able to get a UI menu with buttons implemented and get that working for whatever you need it to in your world, be sure to drop a like, comment, or subscribe below. Or, you know, I guess don't. Uh, I don't know, man. Do whatever. But I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Special thank you to all my patrons. James, Angel, Mr. Fox QC, and Morton. Seriously, you guys are awesome. Thank you very much.